it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. Okay, um, yeah, so let's see what comes up for the week of October 18th through the 26th for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So what do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. October 18th through the 26th. Tulip. Great passion. Harp. Great happiness. Broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Well, wonderful. So, a wish will not be granted, but I think the universe has your your best interest at heart. You know, sometimes you have to, or you need to thank God for unanswered prayers. So, you know, there's something you're wishing for that may not be in your best interest okay so whatever's happening okay great happiness is coming and great passion and I think that you are very passionate about whatever it is that you're asking for but you got there's a reason there's always a reason and you may not believe it but I mean I am here to say that there's a reason sometimes why wishes don't get granted okay <laughs> Maybe it's really not in your best interest. So what do what do we have for Aries? I think it's a time of growth. I do because it, you know for tulip for with that tulip card, it's a time of growth. So it is. It's gonna act. It's actually gonna be a beautiful time. Death. So death. Death is endings and new beginnings. This is a profound change. It's a transition. Okay? This is an ending with a new beginning to follow. I mean, the card speaks for itself. So, death is, a, is an ending. <coughs> it's, that is like, well, death is an end of a, it's the end of a life. It's the end of a... A situation okay so you are going to be going through a profound life change this week okay it is gonna lead you to happiness this is a time to release accept allow family 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 may be around now this is this is when you get death death is the death of a of a person or idea okay maybe there's a death in the family i mean i don't know if that's the case i don't know okay um but this is family this is uh the end okay this is this a 10 which is a completion now uh the 10 of pentacles is financial success i got something in my eye i don't know what it is um, anyway, it's, it's success. It is um, property, trust funds, family support, family gatherings, family business, legacies, inheritance, uh, passing down family money. You know, there could be an inheritance that is coming. There's... Uh, Family matters. I think there's going to be some upcoming family matters this week. You may be dealing with your family. There could be something ending. I mean, ending in your... It could be a change in the home front, okay, as well. Um, some... Hmm. Conflict. It's the end of family conflict, okay? So that's great. This is the end of family conflict. So that is good, okay? It's the end of competition.
following your heart. Now the Knight of Cups is is support as well. I think that you are going to be receiving some support. Now there could somebody may be approaching you. Somebody may be advancing or coming in this week. Um, maybe they're coming to take you somewhere. Now this is somebody that is searching for love, um, looking for love. This is about looking for love. I feel like there could be some socializing this week as well. You know, with family, you may be getting to get, I don't know if you're going to some sort of family get together and socializing. There could be some nostalgia that is here. It could be emotional. There could be some emo, it could, there could be, it could be, it could be emotion. Somebody may be declaring their feelings towards you. Saying goodbye right next to the death card. Somebody is saying goodbye. They're, and this could be that could be the end of a relationship. Somebody in the family may be saying goodbye. They could be moving. Somebody is leaving an emotionally disappointing situation behind with the death card and the eight of cups. This is goodbye. Okay, this is the end. It's the end of an emotionally disappointing situation. This is looking for love, looking for more, following your heart. There's been some sort of pettiness. There's been a battle. It's been a big fight. There's been a big, I feel like it's a family fight, family feud or something. This is the end of the family feud. I mean, it is. I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than that. The end of the family feud. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. So, saying goodbye. Looking for love, looking for something more. I definitely, there could be some sympathies that are coming. This could be sympathetic. Ace of Cups reverse. So there's sadness, there's tears. I know that it's going to be emotional. So there's tears, sadness, lack of emotional content, emotional blockage. Um, something is going on here. This is shutting down. Shutting down somebody's heart. You know, there's there's something going on here. Knight of Swords. I think this may be the Page of Swords. This is the Page of Swords. This is a message you don't want to hear. This is conflict. This is definitely a fighter. I feel like you. There's somebody that is angry. Okay, there's angry. There's there's stress. We have somebody here that is. Uh, hurtful by the looks of things, angry and upset. You notice the fist. When you see a fist, that is angry. Somebody is angry. Somebody, um, oh, this person looks like they're about to do something. They're fed up. This is, uh, agitated. Somebody is agitated. There could be a fight, okay? We have somebody here that that, that, that may uh, be reacting on their feelings. There could be an upcoming battle or something like that. But this page, this page of swords is somebody that um, you may need to set boundaries with somebody. There could be an unexpected conflict this week. Okay? I do think there's going to be an un unexpected conflict. That may make somebody upset. There could be a fight or something. This is somebody that is very direct, agitated, uh, defensive. 
initiates, initiates a fight. Somebody may be initiating a fight. I feel like it's a family member or that is something that has happened, but it is coming to an end because the first card is very prominent. This is a separation or a loss that leads to a new beginning. It does. It does. happiness this is this is the end of the storm this is the storm is over this is going to bring you great happiness but i think in the moment it isn't okay the moment it happens it's it's scary i feel like it's scary i feel like it's it's emotional i feel like uh you may feel like you're 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 frustrated by this or something like that but this does lead to great happiness it leads to a new beginning you do have a new beginning in love here where there's a lot of happiness extreme happiness with the ten of cups this is this is permanency this is spiritual blessings it's like you're going to be blessed with something better for for saying goodbye to a situation where there's been a lot of pettiness, there's been a lot of uh, agitation, there's been a lot of um, tears. You're saying goodbye to something that uh, has really It's been rough. It's been a constant battle. I think it's been a constant battle. It's really played on your emotions. This, you've been fighting with somebody who likes to fight. This person's been trying to pick fights with you, but it's over. It is over. You are moving away from that into happiness. Okay, this is a lot of happiness. You may be even getting together with uh, somebody that is... Uh, there's permanency here. This is permanent love. Both of these cards. Okay. So there's some sort of uh, ending. Because ending, ending, ending. You get definitely. Something is definitely ending in your life. It's the end of a, a, a relationship with somebody. It is. I think it's a family member. Honestly. Somebody that you may have lived with at one point. Or something like that. But I do feel like you are headed towards a lot of happiness and stability and security and uh, maybe even moving homes somebody may be uh, changing changing their residence you know um, they're definitely saying goodbye to, to something that they've made their decision okay and they're saying goodbye and, and they're they're headed towards you know happily ever after and there and there's no looking back it's like they're not looking back that it's time it's definitely time to go this is definitely a spiritual blessing of some sort i feel like you are uh you're saying goodbye you are saying goodbye to somebody something to do with the family with both of these cards, just family and both of these cards. The storm is over. It, it is. So if you've been in some sort of situation where there's been a lot of fighting, it's going to end. Things are about to get better. Things are going to get better. Okay. This is permanent. Okay. This saying goodbye is permanent. Whatever that means. There's no going back. There could be some family support as well that is coming. I think it's the end of a family feud. But I also feel like that you have family support here. That is supporting this transition supporting this change yeah temperance reversed temperance reversed is uh there's going over overboard there's a need to re-examine profound self-healing is needed there could be an onset an onset of an illness this week where 
And I don't know if it's for you or somebody that you're dealing with, you know, where, where, you know, there's somebody that is not healthy, that is, that is very, um, unbalanced. Okay. So there's imbalance here. There's, there's frustration. There's a need to re-examine your health, perhaps. Um, somebody hasn't been paying attention. They've been going overboard. They've been going to extremes. They're extremely unhealthy. Something is off. Something isn't right. I feel like there's going, there's, there's almost like there's hostilities or conflicts that are affecting your health. There's, there's somebody here that is emotionally unstable and it, I don't know if it's affecting their heart or something like that. So there could, somebody's heart could be shutting down with that Ace of Cups reversed. Very unhealthy. We may have somebody that has some sort of addictions, serious addictions. I don't know if it's you or a family member, but this temperance reversed is very, very frustrated, sick. Healing is needed. Profound self-healing is needed. This is like unable to heal. It's ending. And you, because the temperance comes after the death card. This is like, un, can't heal from this. You know? But you can heal. You can heal once you release. Once you let go. Once you say goodbye. Healing will happen. So I feel as though this week you will be uh, ending something because that is the first card. There is something that is ending. Either somebody is leaving your life or you are leaving theirs. Temperance reverse. Something is off. Somebody, something is not okay. There's some sort of clumsiness here as well. We have clumsiness. Somebody could fall. This is out of your control as well. Something is out of your control. I feel like you are going to be saying goodbye to something that has been affecting your health. This is the end of a relationship with somebody that really frustrated you. Seriously. This person frustrated you. They held you down. They didn't help you. They may have married you for money if you were if you're married. Or they may have stayed with you for the roof over your head. Over their head. Um, there's something going on here. There's there's uh you may have held on to this person because of the stability that they offered you. You know, I just had the King of Pentacles on the bottom. You may, you you know, that's holding on for the money. Somebody's been holding on for the money. Or it's you holding on for the money. Ah, King of Wands reverse. So we're dealing with another, either this is you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we got the King, and we got the Queen of Wands here. We're definitely dealing with a fire sign. Okay, whether it's you or another fire sign. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius is here a couple times. Um, I think we're dealing with another another fire sign. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is bad news. Okay, somebody may be very upset when they hear the news. Could be a child. Okay, this person may, get, may be very, very, very upset. Anyhow, um, the King of Wands in reverse, no desire, no fight, no ill. I feel like we have somebody here that is sick. I feel like they're sick and they have been ignoring their health. And it feels like they could fall. They could, they, because they could, with that temperance reversed. It's it not, and it feels like this person, um, is unreasonable, unreasonable, unhealthy, um, 
has no desire, no ambition, no desire left. There's no ambition here. Overdoing it. Masking uh, with that temperance reverse. It's just like going overboard, going to extremes. Engaging in negative patterns. Somebody here is engaging in negative patterns. And I feel like it's it's going to uh, cause somebody to walk away. Somebody is saying goodbye. But they are headed towards happiness. I feel like you need to... And there's a loss of strength as well. There's a loss of willpower. You know, giving up. I feel like we have somebody here that is giving up. By walking right into happiness, which is, a, this is true. Walking right into happiness and stability and comfort. So I feel as though, I feel like if you can find your strength... You need to find strength. You need to find strength to say goodbye to somebody because you will you you there's a there's an opportunity for happiness here. You have to say goodbye though. You have to say goodbye to walk into this bliss. There's something that you that is uh emotionally disappointing to you. And the only one that can walk away from it is you. And that's going to take strength. And I feel like, I don't know, it feels like you, you've you been uh, reluctant, right? You've obviously been reluctant to follow your heart. Or maybe you love this person or something like that. But sometimes love just ain't enough. So anyway, Aries, I feel like this week you are going to be saying goodbye to someone. Someone is either leaving your life or you are leaving theirs. Whoever is leaving is walking right into happiness. They are. They are rocking right into bliss. And it's because they find their willpower to do it. They, they And there's, you know, they, the thing is, is fear. This is fear. Fear has been holding somebody back. But with that death card, that is, uh, you know, it's the end. It's the end of letting fear hold you back. It's stepping into the light. It's allowing a transition. It's allowing a release and accepting change. So this week is going to be a week of separation and loss because that is the meaning of the death card. And so this loss leads you to happiness. It may not be what you wished for, but it's what God intended. Good luck.